Mom Truth Friday. When you become a mom, you never envisioned that you actually inherited a whole wackadoo job more than... First than... of all, I love when you say wackadoo. But secondly, like well, I thought that when you decided to have a baby, it would beca- mean that you would become a, a mom. mom. Like, take care of the baby. I agree. Like, I'm just a mom. I agree. Like, feed it, L- yeah, love it, Yeah, when it naps, it. I sit down. It's cute. It's just cute. The biggest uh, lie, lie, is that when you become a mom, you have so many jobs on top of that. Why does no one tell you that? So all of a sudden, just because you got a baby out of your pain and you have to become a maid, you literally have to clean all Poo, day. Pee, barf, bathrooms, beds, sheets, laundry, all of it. And you thought you had a lot of laundry? Wait till you have a little person. They're constantly soiling themselves. Okay, and then you also have to like bathe them, like you're their bather. Dishes, There's always the bottles, dishes. Always dishes. You always, always have to wash the bottles. All, They're always dirty. Even cups. Forks, Cups, knives. You also become like a cheerleader. Even when you don't feel like cheerleading, you're always picking people oh, back you're up doing again. Such a good job. You know what? I know that's Look really hard, but you got this. Come on, you failed. It's okay. And not to mention the jobs that come along with having to now deal with your husband. You have to give him props for being a great dad. Oh yeah, yeah. Way to go. You're a good Wait. dad. You are like the you biggest. You remember the diapers. You did it. You're a constant shop. You always have to shop for something. You're a nurse. Twenty four. Seven. Even when you're sick, their sick trumps all sickness. I don't know what to do with you because you're always sick. Even a runny nose, like, it trumps your fever pneumonia. Mom, you gotta... my tummy hurts. I don't know what to do. Doctor, I don't but... know whether we should go to the hospital or not because I'm... I'm not a doctor. And you know they're like, you have to disinfect your house? I don't know how to disinfect a house. Yeah. I didn't go to school for that. Yeah, I know, me neither. What does that even mean? Pretty sure it's like bleach or something, Oh, but though. don't use bleach because, you know... Oh, that kills the baby. You also... <laughs> become a playmate. Like you didn't know that you had to go and like, you know, dress up in junk. You have to be pretend you're like a horse, a donkey, like a plane, like Nobody flying the sky. Nobody told me I had to be a freaking actor and play on the floor. I go on the couch. I'm a grown up. You go on the floor. You're yeah. a baby. And you, you know what? A hairdresser. Not only a hairdresser, a hairdresser that is an expert at fish tailor. No, yeah, fish tailor braid. You got to be a school teacher. Did you know you have to be a school teacher? I we didn't, didn't even go to school. You want me to know g- grade three math? Do you know how hard grade three math and is? And they look at you like, Mom, why are you being patient? You know this. No, I don't know how to carry the one and carry the zero and then cross yeah, over I know. and go back. I actually gave her a calculator. In the real world, I we was, use calculators. I was like, here's a calculator. There's a calculator Shh, on don't your tell her teacher. They want you to show your work, though. You have to be a nurse and teach them it's about not... sex ed. Do you know how hard it is to teach a kid about sex ed? Changes? I don't even know how sex ed really works. Well, Pen- I just do it penetration. for fun. But you do? Egg sperms, they connect, they blow up, they it's become weird. a thing. It doesn't make sense. Oh. I didn't ask for this. No. I didn't ask go, for this. Go, Natalie. I didn't ask for Happy this. Happy Mum Truth Friday. I didn't Friday. ask for this. <laughs>